In this video, we will show how you can optimize your air cooler designs using Aspen EDR. We will do this by observing a process engineer in a refinery who is doing revamp studies on a crude distillation unit. He is about to develop a preliminary design for the air-cooled overhead condenser of the atmospheric crude column using Aspen EDR. First, he opens Aspen EDR and picks air-cooled from the different heat exchanger types available. Integration between Aspen EDR and Aspen Hysis enables automatic transfer of data from the Aspen Hysis model of the crude distillation unit. This saves him from having to manually enter data. Next, he identifies the air cooler unit from a list of heat exchangers in the crude distillation unit. Additionally, he specifies the pressure levels. In order to calculate the airflow, besides the air cooler design, he selects design with varying outside flow. He notices that the ribbon on top gives guidance on the workflow he should follow to complete the design. He then specifies the pressure drops and fouling resistance. When he clicks the next button, it takes him to the next form where an input is required. The required input fields are distinctly marked in an aqua color, helping him to easily identify them. At this point, he chooses to review the property data that was imported from the Aspen Hysis flow sheet. He checks on the geometry setting and chooses to go ahead with the default selections, which include tube and fin diameters, fin numbers, and so on. He changes the default face velocities of air to values he thinks are more appropriate for this case. He checks out the option where he can further focus the range of design search by limiting key geometric variables. He runs the program to find the optimal design and air flow rate. The program first explores a range of flow rates and evaluates the capital and operating costs for each possible flow rate. This allows the program to define the optimum air flow rate for the final design search. Once the design is done, he checks the performance of the resulting air cooler design. This includes process and air side conditions, heat transfer, pressure drop, and geometry details. He then reviews the air cooler specification sheet. He verifies the air cooler geometry. He can view the tube arrangement and print or copy the design drawings. At this point, he decides to check out other designs the program had considered while searching for the optimal solution. He notices an asterisk mark adjacent to data points that do not satisfy specified conditions. At this point, the process engineer has a preliminary design of the overhead condenser. He can use this for initial cost estimation and to simulate how a real condenser would perform with the crude distillation process. He saves this and sends it to a heat exchanger specialist for the final design. He then converts the model to a rating or checking case to simulate how this air cooler will perform in the crude distillation unit. He opens the crude distillation unit model in Aspen Hysis and converts the overhead condenser model from simple to rigorous by importing the air cooler design he just created. The process engineer can now predict how a real condenser would perform with the crude distillation unit, and he has improved the fidelity of his crude distillation unit flow sheet.